Uh, listen up. The crow here, being a loyalist, and a natural choice, he's a shoo to take over for Stanford's crew. And there's no disputing that. Now, despite what the word is on the street, Stanford, he ran a good crew, he earned. I mean, we all know that. But he didn't take advantage of the book. Now, he was old, he was stubborn, but you know what? It's history. Me? I'm more blunt. There's a rat. Period. Somebody knew about this shipment of shoes. All right, all right. I'll open it. This is supposed to be for someone's wife. More like for an Amazon. <laughs> Burgo, you think that's funny? You, no, huh? I don't think it's so funny that your envelope is a little light this week. The problem, gentlemen, goes a little further than our family thing here. It's an absolute embarrassment. Now, I'll handle my nephew and that plumbing thing. Trust me on that. That's fun. I'll enjoy that. Loyalty. That's what we need. And we don't have enough Nickies. I'm sick. There's no way I could take over Sanford's crew. But I'm telling you guys something. On my deathbed, neither will some rat. And Burgo, go get me Nico. He's out at Aqueduct. Besides, he's too dumb to be a snitch. Anthony, go get that doctor that Johnny wants. Uh, Chomsky? Chomsky? His name is Chomsky. 